Hello everyone, welcome back to Nottingham Forest. Today we're taking on Bournemouth, the league leaders, and uh, it promises to be a very, very tricky game. After all, they're at the top of the league for a very good reason, nine points ahead of us. We're still in fourth place. Hopefully three points can come our way this game. Uh, we're going to play Graben up front, ahead of Guerrero this time. He needs some game time, and uh, I, I think... He could give us the attacking edge that we need in this game. He's obviously a little bit more, uh, how should we put it, physical, uh, a bit stronger, a bit quicker as well, actually. And uh, that pace up front could make the difference in this game today. Uh, as I said, we're fourth in the league at the moment. We're going through a little bit of spotty form, uh, a couple of draws and uh, a loss last time out to Wickham Wanderers, who were at the time bottom of the league, I'm embarrassed to say. Uh, meaning that we really need to pick things up in this game as we kick off. Bournemouth kicking off, I should say. And it's out wide left with Diego Rico, who plays it back under pressure from Lolly to Cook. Switches play over to the right-hand side. Here's Stacey. Looks to go around Sal. And Sal beats him. And he's got the ball on the left-hand side. Only grabbing ahead of him. Will he look for the cross? Perhaps he will. Dink one in, perhaps. Here we go. Grabbing on the ball. Oh, it's gone in. It's an early goal for Nottingham Forest. Four minutes in. And the league leaders are stunned by the scrappy underdogs from Nottingham. Grabbing says, thank you very much for that cross out. I'm going to clean your boots. So here we go. This is a position that we did not expect to find ourselves in quite so soon in the match. Lerma in the centre of the park for Bournemouth. Passing it back again. Good pressure from Nottingham. Good switch play out to Stacey. Sal looking to close him down, but couldn't quite manage it. Oh, hello, is King. Gosling. Freeman tries to tackle him. Come on, boys. We need to get this out. Ball into the box win the header and now Lolly has it and he can break forward and we can hit them on the counter here finds Freeman to his right a couple of options ahead of him he gives it back to Lolly who plays it into Graben oh, the 1-2 was never really on and now Cook brings it away for Bournemouth Josh King on the left hand side looking for support he gets it in the shape of Diego Rico who lobs it forward Jenkinson's got the measure of his man there. Brings it into the corner. Plays a lovely little ball into Worrell. 1-2 between those players before playing it centrally to Scott McKenna. And here's Sal at the base of midfield now with everyone ahead of him. He plays it out to Yuri Rivera on the left-hand side. He moves it into the centre for Luke Freeman, the on-loan Sheffield United player. Ball can't find him in the end, though, but Lolly might... No, thought Lolly might just about manage to win that one back. But Josh King brings it away and again plays it back to Diego Rico. The game plan here from Bournemouth is very much a case of get the ball, pass it back to one of their better passing players and then lob it over the top or play a, a through ball to try and beat us with pace. Here's Cook over the top. What did I say? Free header. And Samba picks up what was a disappointing header and immediately plays it out to Carl Jenkinson who so far has had a solid game at right back for Nottingham Forest through ball into Freeman he's got options ahead of him and to the left he loses out again he's one of his main weaknesses I would say of Freeman is that he's a little bit weak on the ball oh, that's a good dink from Josh King and he just puts it wide of the mark we're very very lucky not to have gone back to level pegging there I was about to say gone behind I completely forgotten that we were actually ahead Ball played out to Jenkinson here. We're just going to try and play it down the wing. Slow it down a little bit. Try and take a little bit of sting out of the game. We're ahead. We don't need to take any risks. Nice one, two. Nice turn from Freeman. Through ball. Oh, Amiobi's offside. And it wasn't even close. Daylight between him and the line of defenders. So Begovic is going to restart with a goal kick. Well, it's pretty much a goal kick. Plays it up the centre. And it's flicked on to Josh King. 
very nicely. He's got five men around him, takes the shot, and my word, the goalkeeper forced into an athletic-looking save as he dives low to his right-hand side. Strong hand there, pushing it away, and it goes out for a corner. Oh, boys, clog our heads on this. 30 minutes gone. Cook swings it in. Freeman underneath can't beat his man. And luckily, it skies itself over the bar for a goal kick. A proper goal kick this time, which Samba will take with a, uh, a short kick out to Scott McKenna, one of the two centre-backs who split wide whenever we have a goal kick here. Yuri Ribeiro in an advanced position. We do have the attacking fullbacks instruction on. Plays it into Freeman. It's Jenkinson. Just about gets on the ball. Not many options ahead of him, so he's going to have to play it back. Lovely ball around the corner. Luke Freeman looks to play it into Amiobi, but loses out. And now Bournemouth again in possession of the ball, just playing it around the back line, looking for a weak spot in the forest formation that they can exploit, try to get themselves back into this game before half-time. Lob ball over to the top, and that's a lovely win by, I think, Ribeiro. But Graben can't hold on to it. And Bournemouth again in possession of the ball. That's a lovely switch of play. Beautifully weighted to Stacey. Now Dan Gosling. Mepham. Stacey again. Sal goes to try and win the ball. Gives away a foul. It was not his, uh, his best attempt. Shall we say. Billing going to cross this one in. Need to get this one away. Just falls outside the box. They pick it up, and this could be a shot. No, Sal does a great job of intercepting. Gets the ball back for his troubles, and away we go. Shola Amiobi on the left-hand side finds Yuri Ribeiro. But again, not much support for the player. Going to have to cut back inside. Actually, a switch to the other wing. Carl Jenkinson looking ahead of him. What's he got? Plays it square to Freeman. Nice little one-two. Graben couldn't respond. Everything's great up until the final third, and then it just breaks down. Rivero throws into Sal. He'll get it back. Cross into the box. Could this be another chance of the headed goal for Graben? No, he's nowhere near it. But Freeman has the ball. Will he take a shot? Just rolls it out to Colback, who does take the shot, and it goes right into the arms of Azmir Begovic, who very calmly rolls it out just as the half-time whistle goes. At half-time here... It's Bournemouth nil, Nottingham Forest 1. Not many people would have expected that scoreline at half-time. We'll see if we can hold on to it in the second half. Stats there. Pause it if you want to see them. I want to get straight back into this. Broken momentum is no good for me. Sal. Ribeiro cuts it inside to Freeman. Back to Amiobi. Back into Freeman. Looking for Graben, who does have the ball and makes his presence felt. Cross into the box. Can't quite get anything out of it. But we do get the ball back to Ribeiro. Let's try another cross in. That's lovely from Sal. And the striker's just not quick enough of mind or foot to get into a good position to meet that cross. As Bournemouth now with the ball again. Oh, that's given away cheaply to Sal. Here's Graben into Amiobi. He loses the ball, though. Trying to beat two men, taking too much on. And that's a lovely ball out of defence. And just like that, Bournemouth are up the other end of the pitch. Solanke. His ball into Josh King. Two men around him. Plays it out wide to uh, Diego Rico. Great tackle from Jack Colback. Defensive midfielder earning his money today. That's poor. Need to be better than that. Here's McKenna. Can he find a good pass? Just plays it out to Ribeiro. Amiobi's making the run, but he's ignored. Here's Graben. Into Lolly. Back to Graben. No. Billing does a great job of shielding the ball and getting it away. But we have it in the attacking position here. Jenkinson plays it through into Lolly. Can Lolly get the cross in? Play it back to Jenkinson. Crossed in from the ex-Arsenal man. It goes out for a corner. Which will be taken an in swinging corner from Yuri Ribeiro, the left back. Crosses it in. Can we get ahead onto it? No. Freeman picks it up inside the box, though. Plays it across. Jenkinson. 
And for a second there, I thought Graben might just get his foot on it and put us into an even greater lead. As it's hoofed up the park for Solanke, we win the header. And that's a good ball, a blind pass from Freeman, I think. Or was it Lolly? I'm not quite sure. Could even have been Graben. Amiobi. I just can't find that cross. It's that final ball is letting us down at the moment. We have to be better. We really have to make sure that they don't get as much possession as they seem to be getting right now. They're just playing it around the back, trying to get the pace of the game. Just draw the other player in while controlling the fullback. Block off the passing lane, and that's worked. Here's Sound out. Plays it up to Amiobi. Graben making the run. It's a blind alley, though. Does find Lolly, though. Oh, it's a poor pass, but it's been given as a foul against us. Earlier incident, the referee calling it back for a foul on Graben. So we'll look to just lob this one into the box, and hopefully someone can get their head onto it. Uh, too short in the end. Stacey out wide on the right-hand side here. Sal just backing away cautiously while we call one of the other players in to tackle him. They end up switching the play very nicely out to Diego Rico once more. Josh King looking to make a run. We've got to try and keep Diego Rico at bay if we can. Colback catches him, but he gets past him. Jenkinson has to do a job and does. Headed back to Lerma. Rico again. Cross into the box, head onto it. Good stuff. Let's keep the defending going. We need to win this ball back. Oh, no. Somehow we escape. Colback plays it out to Freeman. We need to really... F oh, that's not the pass, is it, boys? That's not the pass. Rico plays it forward for Ken McKenna, who's just going to look to hold on to possession for a second here. 80 minutes gone. We don't really need to do anything spectacular. Let's just try and hold on to possession. This is a free... This is a vital three points here. This could really upset the apple cart if we can hang on to this. Of course, if a chance comes our way, we will try to take it. Like this, for example, Freeman. Ah, oh, it's too easy for Begovic. Tried to shake the ball around him. We just couldn't make anything stick. Ribeiro looking a little bit tired, so maybe we'll take him off. I'm just wondering, can Christie play there? I suppose he could do. We know Colback can play there, so how about this? How about Colback goes to left back and Basharu can play in defensive midfield? That seems like a fairly sensible substitution at this stage. We keep our passing ability and we don't lessen our defensive ability either. That's a fantastic long ball out by Begovic. Here's Surridge. Headed out, Sal. Oh, no. Win the ball back, win the ball back. McKenna needs to get rid of this. Ribeiro plays it through to Sal. We can still play out from the back. There's no need to panic too much. Here's Freeman. We've got a chance to double our lead here. Things are opening up. Just play it through to Freeman. Oh, no, it just breaks down at the last second again. Playing it square, probably not the best thing to do. But now Bournemouth on the attack. Three versus three here. Three versus four, four versus five. Gosling into the middle, punched out. King. Oh, God damn it. In the first minute of extra time, Josh King has equalised for Bournemouth. You can see what Samba thinks of that. You can tell what I think of that as well. That was that was that was needless. We should just hold on to the ball. And literally the final kick of the game ends this thrilling contest at Bournemouth. I'll leave you with the uh, with the sound of the stadium. Until next time. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and bye bye.